go. We got a nice matchup here. Tina, which I thought... Well, I guess we still have Path to the Peak. We still have Path to the Peak, so we can still play Tina. Let's go. Kaya versus Ryan. Mew versus Tina. Put your bets in. Save a light start. Poof. But we have Chorus in hand. Wow. <laughs> Kaya does not mess around. First play is a path. What? Oh, that's true. We can't Chorus. I thought we can Chorus. My bad. Ah, oh, that sucks, guys. Yeah, yeah, you really don't want to go. Lost Box does not like going first, guys. Lost Box hates going first. Let's go. Mew into a four seal stone. This is insane. I think Ryan wins game. To, uh, wins this turn. Holy moly! I think Ryan wins this turn. I think Ryan gets a KO here. No, Sableye is actually eighty HP. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, he doesn't get the KO, no. Oh, uh, unless he gets an Elsa. No, even if he gets an Elsa. No, no, he can't Elsa. No, no, he can't KO anymore. He can't KO, never mind. He cannot get a KO anymore. Yeah, Jimmy was was playing really good. Yeah, Jimmy was playing really smart. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, but Vic, don't, don't forget that Gardevoir was doing really well. Uh, he he played. He understood that playing Gardevoir EX early is not gonna hurt him as much, and he, so he actually utilized it. He's like, let me get rid of the Steelix ASAP. Keep that Gardevoir on board for as long as possible, and then tour it out later. To be honest, yeah, like the only reason Alexander won was because he pulled in a tour with the perfect timing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's I mean it's, it's kind of showcasing how strong Gardevoir is. That it just needs one card and can win games. Mew here starting off kind of strong. We do we are looking for a fusion strike as uh, engine. We were not finding it. We're only finding a bunch of cats <laughs> everywhere. Tina might have chosen first be because Mew loves going first. That's true, but look how much that hurts. Like that hurts you so much because you had the color. I mean, we do have colors again. Thank God. Thank God we pulled a Colrus again. I think so, right? Is that Colrus? Yeah, that's Colrus. So actually, that's two Colrus, I think. So we, we're fine here as long as we don't die. And we go for the leap to get an extra energy. So Guy is excited here. Gets to play the Colrus turn one. Go for the Nest Ball for the Comfe. Colrus. I guess, do you, do you Comfe first or do you Colrus? Doesn't matter really. Oh wow, she runs Spirit Tomb in this deck. We can go for the Greninja. We can get a Greninja. We can also get the Comfe just to be safe. Fortunately, Battle VIP is completely useless here. We can go for the Greninja. Greninja is helpful here. Comfe is cool. I think she goes Comfe or Greninja. One of those two. We have another Nest Ball? Okay, we're going to be fine. We're going to be totally fine. I think she goes Comfe or Greninja. I don't think she goes double Comfe. Wait, she has another Nest Ball. She doesn't want to use it. Maybe she Chorus's first. I think we just used the Nest Ball. Kaya, can we play the game, please? Thank you. There's the chorus. Whoa. Actually, really good chorus. Gets you a lot of things. It's a really good chorus. So you get the jet energy, you get the mirage gate, and... Oh, wow, she throws away the mirage gate? Spiritomb actually makes sense. Oh my god, she has the Mew counter. Spiritomb. Spiritomb is crazy here.
But we also need to get a cram. We need a comfort and we need a cram. Let's see what we do here. Is that a double nest ball? Wow. She's, she, man, this girl is the fuck. Wow. So she's going to go for a seek? Wait, 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 wait. How, how is this adding up? This is not adding up at all. Wait, why would she do that? So she's not going to attack this turn. She's not going to attack this turn. She plays two because she potentially could lose one. If he goes for the power tablets. Good idea. See what she gets with that draw. Wow. Poke Gear is useless right now. Super Rod is not really necessary either. Poke Gear is not necessary. You don't need it anymore. You have all the supporters you need. Wow. She keeps Poke Gear. Is that Poke Gear or am I tripping? All right, so Muse kind of stuck here. It doesn't get to play any view V abilities at all, and also Path to the Peak is active. So he's stuck from Spirit Home, and he's stuck by. Okay, you're not gonna throw another Super Rod. Just throw the Jet Energy away. Wow, she gets rid of the Green Energy. Okay. Has a female ever won a major tournament? Never won a major regionals, but got close. They like placed top. I think they placed top eight before, but never won the whole regionals. Never. It's tough to win the whole regionals. Are you crazy? The problem with top eight is when you get to top eight, it's freaking crazy. Top eight is crazy. It's like the gang. It's like geniuses, unbeatable players. Unless you're getting to the, like, perfect matchups, you're going to lose. I think in juniors, one has. Yeah, potentially. I'm not sure, actually. I don't ever keep up with junior at all. We got six viewers on, on Twitch. Pretty cool. Nice to see you guys. Everybody's interested in the games. Look at, oh, maybe they're here for Kaya. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> of course, they're here for me. <laughs> All right, uh, last zone at five already. Pretty good. Ryan here is not going to be happy. I mean, he can get rid of the path to the peak, but how is he going to get rid of the spirit tome? You know what the problem is? Spirit tome is actually Muse counter. We get Iono with our four seal stone, but that's just not enough. Unfortunately, Ryan is literally playing against one of his worst matchups. It's a deck that doesn't let him play the game. And it sucks because Path is going to be rotating, but also Mew. So he doesn't have a word to say. Can't say anything. <laughs> I wonder if Ross Cawthon dominated juniors. Bro, there's a couple of guys that have just been... Uh, it's weird, they don't compete a lot, but every time they compete, they, sh they sh like, top 16, top 8. Like, Rowan Stevenson, uh, I don't think he competes a lot, but whenever he competes, he's, like, top 8. Whenever he goes to a regional, he's top 8. Damn, that's a great hand there. Would have been nice to have that turn 1. All the comfes. I mean, we do get the V-Star as well, wow. But we don't have any energy. We don't have a way to play the game, though. Damn, this is an amazing uh, Iona by Ryan. Does the Iona hurt him? He doesn't have Box of Disaster in hand. What are we going to do here, man? This is a tough matchup for Ryan, man. Ryan is struggling here. He can't play the game at all. He literally can't play the game until he puts some fusion energy on his Pokemon. And I don't see any fusion ener energy in hand. We can lost vacuum the path, but that's not enough. We can't get the spirit tomb. We just can't KO it, man. Damn, that's crazy. We're going to lose to a spirit tomb. 
we psychic leap out of there, running away, and we're just gonna... At least we put back the fusion energy, thank god, because we need those energies on our Pokemons, on our fusion strike en engine. I think he only runs two fusion energies, so it's kind of crazy that he just pulled it out and... It sucks that he put both on one Mew. He's still fine though, I think. Uh, looking at how the game is gonna go, Kai is gonna be able to get the first two prizes, so she is gonna be ahead. But actually, wait, let me look at this. Let me do the math. I think Kaya can win here if she gets the draws, but she's not getting any draws. Wow, she went for seeking. <gasps> she literally didn't do anything this turn. Makes total sense, her hand is trash, it's all character Pokemon, it's not any freaking anything she can use. Didn't even have a switch card. Finally, she drew her switch card though, now she has a way to play. But if Ryan freaking Iona's her again, this is pretty much game over. Okay, Ryan, what are you going to do? How are you going to get this spirit tomb out of there? How are you going to activate your fusion? Oh, he's going to judge. He's going to judge. Judge is huge here. Ruins Kaya's uh, game plan. Oh my god. Kaya's going to be struggling, guys. But Mew doesn't get to attack this turn. Oh, we, we could retreat him. Bro, this judge, if we draw a Mew VMAX out of this judge, we win game, potentially. Kaya is gonna get be struggling here, guys. If we can pull a Mew VMAX so we can retreat the Mew in the front and pull the Mew in the back forwards, we win this game. We can start attacking. We need a Mew VMAX. Ryan needs to draw a Mew VMAX right now. No, no view me. Ugh, no, no, no view V Max. Oh my God, we got you, Max. <gasps> we got the new V Max with the feather ball. This is crazy. This is crazy. What did Kaya pull? What did Kaya draw? What did Kaya draw? What did Kaya draw? If Kaya didn't draw, good. She's struggling here. Oh my God, Ryan pulled it. Ryan literally pulled it with his judge. Oh my god, if Kaya doesn't have a chorus, she's, she's dud. She's done those. She needs a chorus. Kaya literally needs a chorus. I don't think she has a chorus. Does Kaya have a chorus? I don't think he, we even use our fusion strike energy this, this game. We do have enough switch cards though. We're, so we can draw the Comfe. We have switch cards. But we have to rely on our draw. Oh my god, Ryan is doing this. Ryan is actually making it happen. Ryan is coming back from a path spirit home. He doesn't even use his... He has not used his fusion energy... His fusion engine. Oh my god, there it is. Mirage gate in hand. Oh no, but we have to lose the psychic energy. Oh, this is big. Throws away the mirage gate. This is the second mirage gate she throws away. Literally, she only gets one Tina active. Bro... Like, the trajectory for Kaya is there's no way she can win the game. She has only two Mirage Gates to activate. She doesn't have the V-Star she needs. The hell is this? A Poke Gear. There it is. She finds a Colrus, though. Okay, she does find the Colrus that she needed, that I said she needs. So, let's see. It needs to find her a V-Star, though. If she finds a V-Star here... Oh, but she also needs a Mirage Gate. I don't know why she did this to herself. She actually can get the KO here, but uh, she screwed herself, I think. She needs to find a Mirage Gate and a V-Star with this Colrus. This is crazy. Ask. 
Nothing. We did not find anything. Uh, we lose game. That's game over, I believe. I mean, we do have energy in the hand. We can look for... <sighs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much... Ryan gets to do one more KO, I think, here next turn. But Ryan also needs a switch, though. We'll see. We don't potentially lose. Ugh, we have to do, throw one of these choruses away. Oh my gosh, she throws the Greninja. That's freaking crazy. Bro, Kai is falling apart. <laughs> Kai is falling apart. <laughs> Kai is falling apart. No. Doesn't matter. Path doesn't change anything here. He already he already wasn't able to use any abilities. Okay, Sableye is active though, that's true. Yeah, but what are you gonna put damage on? No. We couldn't even activate Sableye because we needed that Psychic Energy. That's the only Psychic Energy we had in the deck, I think, left. That sucks. And she didn't pull a Super Rod. This Tina's uh, kind of crumbling here, guys. Ryan uh, retreated already. He needs a switch, though. Passes, yeah. So, what the hell did Ryan just do? Oh, my God. Ryan just screwed himself. Oh, my God. Ryan just locked himself in. Ryan can't get out. Bro, Ryan, Ryan needs to get KO'd. Ryan actually is smart here. Wait, 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 wait. I take it back. I take it back. There's a box of disasters on the Genesect. That means it's going to get KO'd this turn, I believe. And when it does, you leave some damage onto the Giratina V. And that's really going to be one of the only ways he can kill that Giratina V with his power tablet. Besides that, he can't kill the Giratina V. So Ryan, Ryan actually playing really smart here. This is where chess in the Pokemon game shows up. And you're looking kind of two, three steps ahead. But he's actually overestimating Kaya. <laughs> Kaya needs a Mirage Gate and she's threw all her Mirage Gates out. So she literally threw two into the last zone. It's a big ask for her to draw. So now you're just stuck there, Ryan. Good on you, Ryan. Did you draw a switch? Nope. Even if you drew a switch, you don't want to go do this. Yeah, he kind of overestimated this. You thought she's going to be active. Oh my god, he's actually going to go for it. So this is a big risky because... Yeah, he needs to, he needs to do damage on the Giratina V. He can't KO it this turn, unfortunately. But he can leave some damage on it. This is the only way, because Giratina V is going to answer big time. There it is, 190 damage. 200, no, 170, 170 right? One twenty, one eighty, two ten. Why two ten? There's a DTE. Is that two thirty attack? I guess I forgot. Yeah, two ten. I thought it was one ninety. We need Mirage Gate. Even if we don't get Mirage Gate here, we're fine though. We have all the energy we need. Finally. Guy is gonna attach green energy. Oh my god, what's happening here? Oh, we're just gonna start a Requiem, I guess. That makes sense. We're just gonna start a Requiem here. So we start uh, funneling some energy into the second team now that makes total sense ryan unfortunately just uh that v that spirit home is really holding him off from playing the game spirit home really shut down his whole deck which is crazy because we see mew winning tournaments all the time 
So imagine the struggle you have to go through as a Mew. But yeah, that's why Kaya went first. Now we know why. That that's why. That's why Kaya wasn't minding a slow start, just like uh, Vic said. Because as long as long as she can get that spirit room out, she's happy. Got the VMAX out. Oh, this is nice though because we might be able to kill two Tinas and uh, before we lose our V Star VMAX. She, uh, I'm hoping to God Kaya took three prizes, not only two. Because if she only took two, then she forgot that VMAX gives her three. It looks like she only took two. Why does it look like she only took two prizes? I'm worried. I'm worried that she made a mistake. Oh my god, I hope they don't penalize her for this. Start the confair. Yeah, because you're looking for a mirage kit. Makes sense. Poor Ryan. Yeah, so they, they she did take three. So can we kill oh this me view max? No we cannot. Can we pull in one of these guys? No we can't. I think we can win here as Kaya as long as we can KO one of these back end Pokemon we can win this game. But we don't wanna not KO anything this turn we want to KO something this turn so as long as we can boss in but I don't think we're going to be able to boss it doesn't seem like we have a boss in this deck there's Mirage Gate though there's the boss oh my god boss is one of them Wow. She's gonna rock Sam. Yikes, we don't get a KO. Okay, this is opening the game for Ryan to get a return. So what Ryan needs to do is play a Mew behind him and jump away with his Mew V Max. And as long as he leaves any kind of damage counters on the Tina V Star, he wins game. In one turn, he actually needs to play two Mews. That's the problem. Damn Ryan, there's a big ask for Ryan. Oh my God, he has a Mew, Mew Genesect. He needs to draw one more Mew. He needs one more Mew, and he's fine. He's fine. He's he can jump away. He needs one more Mew. The problem is he has no draw. That's 280 damage. No draw power at all, but there is a Mew in hand, which is crazy. What did we just draw? A Feather Ball. Oh my god. He got both Mews that he needed. This is insane. He literally needed both Mews. The problem is he must be scared. Brother, you need to jump your Mew. You cannot rely on her not having a boss. You need to play two Mew down and jump your Mew out. I know, it's crazy. No, 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 no. No, Ryan. Ryan, you had a way out. The problem is he just, I get it. He just got tilted from the beginning. It's completely, this is why I'm happy Path is getting rotated. Just could not play the game at all. Fortunate for the dude, man. Let's see if the game two is better for him. He's going to go first. Let's see, we didn't see the prizes. Two power tablets.
What just happened? Oh, he, he's suing. Okay, I was scared. Wow, I was I was worried. I was like, what the hell did they just do? Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's gonna be a good game here. Featherbolt start. Into Mew. Why is the judge doing this? None of your business, judge. Don't touch my card. Uh, Featherball in. Mew. Oh, man. I would have pulled out my engine. Is he going to pull out Battle VIP? That should be it. Okay, we can actually play the game this time. Okay, this Mew actually gets to play this game for once uh he should be having a much better time here what what else is in his hand i didn't see it does he have a v max okay that has the dte does have the box that's great Double box. Oh, that's so good. There's the DTE gone. And then we draw a four, a three. Uh-oh, something's happening. Okay, there we are. We draw the three. Oh my god, another battle VIP. That's amazing. So we get a whole army of Genesects here. And we get to draw with all of them. I think you should do that right now, Ryan. The problem is, do you pull out two Genesect, or do you just pull out one? I'm surprised he didn't pull out a Mew, a third Mew. I don't know why he did that, actually. Oh, because he wants to thin his hand? I don't know. I'm surprised, yeah. I don't know, he just didn't do that. I mean, this is the same play. You don't have to. You could have just picked up a VMAX. Whatever. Could have picked up a Mew VMAX in hand. Yeah, Ryan's thinking out the deck, though, really well. He's going to get to draw a lot. Nice, he gets to draw one more time. He has all the Ultra Balls and everything he needs. He can get rid of these cards for a Mew VMAX. You can... Yeah, you're not going to need the Escape Rope. Because he has so many good options to Escape Rope. So you're going to Ultra Ball for the Mew VMAX, which is going to help you next turn or you can just whiff it yeah exactly you could whiff it and just draw more cards with the genesec v uh but i honestly would just pick up the cards i need uh, but it makes sense also you don't want to get iono but you are you know you're gonna go against the tina star and you know you're not gonna get iono so i would have gotten the exactly the pieces i need okay good draw Ryan uh, retreats and, and Stern. Kaya starts uh, strong with the Bell VIP. You can get out a Greninja and a Confe. That'll be really strong. Oh, no Greninjas. No Greninjas. So Confe Cam Cram. Or config grit, you know, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, there's no star, uh, Tina. Uh, sorry, there's no radiant Greninja. Really nice hand here. We have the jet energy. Okay, we're gonna go config. Damn, we're not going to play the Spiritome? Okay, there it is. Spiritome is out. Spiritome is out. I was about to say, what? We're not going to play the Spiritome? I didn't see a path to the peak in hand.
Let's go, Kaya. Let's go. Comfy to draw. Damn. Both cards unnecessary, but yeah, you throw out the switch for sure. Okay, Poké Gear is actually really nice here. Wow. Really nice. We needed that. Man, I'm gonna run two Poké Gear in my deck, man. This it's so good to play that card. Kaya Lichtliner, Ryan Moorhouse. Let's see if they can do it here. Uh, Kai is drawing. Throw out an S-Ball and a battle. No, keep the battle. Throw out one more nest ball Do you really need the third comfy? Wow, she threw out the nest ball Okay. Kaya gets uh, Comfy Cram. No, just double Comfy? Or just a second Tina? No, we just get one Comfy. Okay. Not sure what this ma decision process is coming from. Why not just fill up our bench? What are we waiting on? We'll see. Maybe she wants to use up another battle VIP. I'm not sure. I don't know why you just not fill up our bench. Switch card here on the confair. And we we could we could attack with cram. Wow, we got a chorus. He's gonna play a third comfy. That's why she didn't want to fill up our bench. Now I get it. Retreat into comfy. Wow, there's oh, so we did have Greninja this whole time. Yeah, we just get rid of the energy. It's fine. Bro, she really doesn't like Greninja, bro. It's the second time she puts in the last zone. She just, why are you even playing the card? Just don't play it. Makes sense though, look at her board. She cannot play it anywhere. There's no room. It's because of that spirit tome, that's why there's no room for the Greninja. Okay, Ryan's going for it. He's freaking popping here. Doesn't get to draw anymore, but he's uh, got everything he needs really. And yeah, gets a KO, Max Miracle. Pretty good here. He is stuck though, guys. He cannot play the game. But that's basically what he wants. He already, he, he himself used his path. So he just wanted to go first and be able to draw a little bit and that's all he needed. I think we just throw that, red, oh, yeah, blue energy. I was about to say red energy. Bro, can you stop changing the counters for her? Or is he doing that for himself? I don't know. Damn. What's the plan here? Are we going to actually attack? I don't know what she wants to do. Are we going to go chorus attack? Oh no, never mind. She already chorus. Oh, 
Uh oh, we don't. We can't start a requiem yet. But we can get a two eighty attack out. Damn, that's that's gonna be not not great. Is she gonna boss? No, you can't boss. Can you? You already use chorus, no? Damn. So there it is, two eighty. Onto the new V Max, but this is not great because now he could just jump away. What? Ryan can now just jump. This is not great. Ryan's gonna jump here. Ryan doesn't get to draw anything though this turn. I get it, I get it. Kaya just didn't have any options. She could have done a cram attack, but that's pretty weak. This is the best option she has, but even then, like, this jump is gonna be big. This psychic leap is gonna be crazy. Sucks that we didn't draw any fusion and strike energy so we can do any kind of drawing. Yeah, we just psychic leap. Literally, that's all we can do. Yeah, we just psychic leap into the deck, yep. And we're going to put one of these Box of Disasters out. Yeah, Psychic Leaps only does 5 damage because it's supposed to do 7, but with DTE, minus 20. Yep, that makes total sense. Psychic Leap was our only play, guys. Wow, we didn't put a box of disaster up. We just put the Mew. So we're just sending the Mew to die. <clears throat> wow. Kaya gets a big KO here. She can start Requiem. Huge KO. Oh, this limits uh, Ryan's uh, options here. I mean, he does have the Ultra Ball, but doesn't have the DTE he needs. So I think that's it here. You cannot draw into the DTE. You lose game. God, the Muse is super nice deck, guys, but it's totally counter with the Spirit Home. If you're having any problem with the Mew matchup at all, just play Spirit Home into your deck. Wow. Completely hinders this Mew. Bro, the problem with this Tina Star with the Spirit Home is just there's no way to play around it as a Mew. You can't get rid of the path, you can't get rid of the Spirit Home. Tough, tough game here for Ryan. Really bad matchup for him. He's gonna try to figure something out. Slow down Kaya and pass turn. He's gonna have to top deck. Kaya has all the switch cards she needs. There's nothing he can do. He can't run away from her. He cannot run away from this. He cannot run away. Yeah. And she has a Mirage Gate for next turn. And a Super Rod in hand as well. Like, she's set up here, guys. Gets another KO. No, first she's gonna Avery. Get rid of one of these guys, and then draw three. Nothing, nothing special, but... Now we can get a cleaner KO, I guess. I don't know. I don't... Uh, Avery doesn't really change anything. Okay, Ryan. What can you do here, man? It's almost impossible for you to do anything. Well, honestly, if you can just psychically... If you can draw into a Mew V Max and then psychically... 
No, he can't do it. That's game over. Yeah, that's pass. A Mirage Gate can get her the win here, guys. One Mirage Gate. She gets Super Rod first. She has a Super Rod too. What's she doing, bro? Just give him... End his suffering. <laughs> End Ryan's suffering. What is she doing? You can't do that. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, she's just retreating. What? Oh, I get it. She's throwing away, I guess, the energies. I don't know. That's weird. Because now she needs a double Mirage Gate. Now she needs a double mirage yet. She can't she can't activate the star. So she kind of misplayed this. She did not need to add the energy. But I mean Ryan literally cannot play the game. He literally cannot do anything. Oh my god, a cram. There's a cram. Cram gives him a DTE. Bro, Ryan is just done with this game, man. He just threw the dice so hard. Yeah, he just failed. Okay, pass. Ryan passes here. Yeah, that's it. Game over. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, GG. Oh, man. Tough game for Ryan, guys. Really bad matchup for him. Giratina V-Star just holds off everything with the path to the peak into Spiritome. Just shut down Ryan completely. Kaya gets the W with no resistance, really.